Hello, hello. Here we are for part three of this vintage jewelry friend mail from Cindy. Thank you again, Cindy. We really, really appreciate it. We are having a blast going through this. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn. My husband's name is Barry, and we are part-time resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. If you see something that you're interested in, just send us an email to makl22ymail.com. Shipping is $5 for the United States. Anything under a pound, anything over a pound, or outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. So let's just jump right in because there's still so much to get through. So let's just jump to it. Here we have a little faux um, uh, necklace with some tone loss. So we're going to say a dollar. Um, this is a really pretty piece. Unfortunately, it is cracked right here. So that's going to be a dollar. Um, this one is decorated glass. It is just silver tone magnet. Okay, so this part is magnetic. This part is not. It's a really pretty blue, uh, but it has some discoloration right here. So I'm just going to say a dollar. I was doing some testing earlier and it turned my finger yellow. Let's see, here we just have a magnetic necklace with these loops and silver tone. It is 30 inches with a two inch extension. So I'm just gonna say a dollar. These are really pretty. Faceted, citrine color, beads, glass beads with seed beads in between, and they are gorgeous. Look at the colors in here. These are just so nice. I love that. I'm not sure if they're even showing up how beautiful they are. It's super long. Let's see. So it is 58 inches. That is gorgeous. And like I said, it is glass and it is um, citrine color with Aurora Borealis. So it's got these really cool like gray tones to it also. So I'm going to say let's do, let's do $8 on this because this is super nice. Here we have an acrylic um, bangle. It is two and five eighths, and it is kind of a rose color. So let's just say a dollar. Here we have an unsigned brass um, clamper bracelet. I have a seven and a half inch wrist and that's how far to go so i'm going to say it's probably um for a seven inch it needs to be a buffed out um, but the um texture on this is really really nice beautiful so let's do let's do four dollars on this one here is a hair pee uh clip really cute Look at the orange with these little orange discs. So I'm just going to say let's do $2. That is very pretty. Love that. Here's just a stretch bracelet with some shell chips and some faceted beads. So a dollar. These are those little rubber. These are black and white and they're rubber and then it's got some little metal like 
brass colored disc, however they are magnetic. So just a dollar. Here we have just a multicolored little brooch, uh, purple with green with a red center, um, all in good condition. So I'm just gonna say let's do, um, let's do three dollars on that one. It's a little. It used to be a little frame, maybe, but just rocks. So that's gonna go on craft for a dollar. Some of these little stones are cute. So dollar. This is just wood and it is not in good shape. So it's gonna go for a dollar. Here we have a watch that says in a Soa. No clue. Made in China and it's really dirty. It needs a battery. Oh, it might be a wind-up. I don't think it is. So I'm gonna say just a dollar. This is cute. Does this have a name? I don't think so. It is just plastic, but it is like a little, you push and it open. Well, it should open. There you go. It um, has a safety chain, but it's cute. Very retro 80, 90s looking. It is... Two and a quarter inch by two inches. So let's just say two dollars, but that is really cute. Here we have a little leaf with um, some cracked enamel. So I'm just gonna say a dollar. Here we have a little caliper pillar brooch, no missing rhinestones, a long pin back that's extending all the way over here. But that is so cute. It has faux pearls. It is two and a quarter inch by about one and a half, three fourths. So let's just say two dollars. That is cute. Here we have another Geneva watch. This one is platinum with a rubber band. It's very rubberized. So let's just say two dollars. Here we have a little bro be bluish brown it changes colors as you move it and i'm gonna say a uh, two dollars this is no name and the lobster class is broke but it's cute it has some really nice little let me say they're acrylic beads um with some wood beads so i'm just gonna say a dollar here we have a little green and purple flower brooch, but it is um, fading, so I'm gonna say a dollar. Uh, yikes. <laughs> it's a little enamel pen brooch, but it is banged up, so just a dollar and somebody drew on its face, I believe. Here we have a little fish brooch with a pearl in the end. Um, no name that I can see. It is faux. So I'm gonna say let's do just $3. Has a rhinestone for the eye, but that is very pretty. Okay, this is crazy. This is all one piece, but it is broke. So I'm going to say this entire piece with this extra piece is a dollar. So it has a lot of little like shell, you know, um, dyed shells and things. So just a dollar. Hmm. Okay. I am really not sure what this is, but I'm going to describe it to you. So it is not magnetic. It is a ram front and a fin back with a rhinestone with a star in the end and at the very tip of the star yeah the little tips of the star right here is um 
gold tone loss, but I'm not sure what that is. So I'm just gonna say a dollar. Um, this one's just leather crisscrossed. I'm not sure if it's leather. It is magnetic. So I'm just gonna say $2 and it does have some play. Here we have a rose pen, no signature. It is three inches by three fourths inch. So I'm gonna say let's do, um, let's do $9 on the rose. This is a Coro. I don't know what this little copper piece in here. It's missing all the rhinestones or pearls on the outside. So I'm just going to say, um, because it has this on here, I'm not real positive, but it definitely is signed Coro. So I'm going to say, let's just do a dollar. Here is a gold tone brooch by Traditions. That is a American company that started in the late 60s and was very close in how they made things to like Trafari and Coro and things like that. It's still making jewelry today. It um, has a look similar to uh, Trafari. So I'm just gonna say $2. Here we have a bracelet, has a rope edge with a rhinestone. It is in a square, so it is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So I'm gonna say let's just do $2. Here we have a rhinestone mesh bracelet into a bangle. It's a little, it's super large. It is three inches by two and three fourths. So I'm just gonna say two dollars. This is beautiful. Look at that. It is not signed. It is a brooch, gold tone on the back, green and blue. No missing rhinestones, so that is beautiful. So I'm gonna say let's do um let's do nine dollars. This is beautiful. It's enameled with um the green is like a sparkle, very pretty. Right there, you can see a lot of it. So just a dollar on this piece, it's mesh and chain. All right, this is listener. Oh, wow. This is a gorgeous thermoset. Gold tone. Signed on the back of the shepherd hook. And then the earrings are screw back. This is gorgeous. Three and a half inch extension, 12 inch from here to here. Of course, you can get an extension onto these. A beautiful, actually really good condition. This set is gorgeous. There is a, the looks like the chain needs to be cleaned a little bit. Maybe a slight bit of loss, but not much. That color is just gorgeous. I cannot get over it. Anyway, Thermoset Lucite jewelry was manufactured predominantly during the 50s and 60s by some of the best jewelry companies. This color makes this so incredibly outstanding. Let's say 25 on this piece. I see them running online around um, from 40 to 89. So yeah, 25. Here we have another hair clip in gold tone with a faux pearl. So let's just say $2. <laughs> I 
that's very magnetic. It is really cool. It has these beautiful flowers. It's a gold wash. Uh, it is magnetic. It does have some loss. It is two and three fourths. And I'm just going to say a dollar because it has that loss. Wow. Oh, right there. Sarah Coventry. Look at that. That is gorgeous and huge. No missing rhinestones. This a beautiful um, Marquise, I'm going to say amber colored rhinestone. It's an open back. It is five inches by one and one eighth. It has some dings right here, but that is gorgeous. Oh, there is a missing rhinestone. Ah, oh, that's criminal. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm still going to say, even with that missing rhinestone, I'm going to say $5 for that. That is gorgeous. That is definitely worth fixing that rhinestone. That's a cute pen. It's an old style sewing machine with black enamel with a thimble, pair of scissors, a measuring tape, spool of thread. That is cute. It has a name. Let's see if we can make that out. I think it might be AJC, but I'm not 100%. So I'm going to say let's do Let's do $9 on that. That is adorable. Ooh, that was knotted. Um, okay, this has some loss here. That is massive. <laughs> there is, as you can see, there's some copper coming through. It is uh, 12 inches with a four inch extension, but this main piece is like five and a half inches. So I'm just gonna say $2 on that. This is really cool, but it is super short, so I'm not, it's, I think, it, uh, bonus hair. It is only 11 inches, so I have no idea what that is, but it's really cool. So maybe, oh, look. So there we go. I just put it back together. That is a really cool piece. It is a fold over clasp and it is 16 inches. So that is beautiful, super, super heavy. So I'm gonna say let's do $7. This piece is kind of cool. It's got this little tassel, has a knot in it, needs to get it out. I believe this is faux um, stone with a long chain. With a long chain. So the chain without the extension is 28 inches with a three inch extension. So I'm gonna say let's just do four dollars on that one this is a really cool it's um acrylic with lots of different black and silver tone beads it is a gunmetal it is 18 inches with a two inch extension 
So we're just gonna do $3 on that one. Um, this is a cool frame. However, somebody cut out like a little piece of rug and put it in there. Um, but it's a cool frame, so just a dollar. These earrings match and they are faux pearl. They are hoops, two inches, so just two dollars. This is a Sarah Coventry. It is silver tone with like a faux hematite um, stone in the middle. The chain is 24 inches and the little pendant is an inch and a half by an inch and a half. So let's say $5 for the Sarah Coventry. This one, let's see has a fold over clasp. I don't see a name, but it is really cool. It's a bracelet, gold tone. It is seven inches. So let's just say $5. That's pretty. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but that is a very nice piece. Here is just uh, more bonus hair. Um, rhinestone with a green rhinestone in the center. Really super light. It's 16 inches, so just a dollar. Um, this one, silver tone. Really super light again. Little necklace. 16 inches, so just a dollar. This says Scorpio. Okay, so it's like a little... Um, dog tag that just says Scorpio and it has a scorpion in it. It is gold tone, obviously, with a 16 inch extension. I mean, a 16 inch chain. So let's just do $2 on the Scorpio. This one's broke, two pieces. So I'm gonna say that's, um, it does have some rhinestones that are really cute. So I'm gonna say a dollar for that one. This one is little dolphins with faux, abalone, I believe. It, I'm gonna guess this is a anklet. <laughs> it's like dolphins and then there's one hang one and it is nine and a half inches and seven and a half if you just go to the extension. So let's just say $4 for the little anklet. This one is Lane Bryant. And I'm gonna say this is the first time I've seen a Lane Bryant in all the time I've been doing jewelry. However, it has some tone loss. It is 18 inches, but it is pretty little pieces here. So I'm gonna say just a dollar. This one's like little branches with leaves with these nice glass beads. That's very pretty. It is seven and a half inches. I love those blue beads. Those are gorgeous. So let's just say um, it's got a roller clasp. So let's just say $5 for that one. Gorgeous electric blue. Here is a heart brooch. No name. So just $2. Here is another one of those hair barrettes, or hair clips, should I say, with the orange. So I'm gonna say $2 for this one also. If you buy the two together, I'll do $3. This one is a very pretty. It was caught up in everything. But it's gorgeous. It is, let's see, no name. It's an antiqued, chain that it's set on 
with one, two, three, four strands. Lots of interesting detail. So this one's actually very pretty, in good condition too. The longest, or rather the shortest, is 18 inches with a three and a half inch extension. So I'm going to say, let's do $8 on the faux turquoise. Uh, let's see. No name on this one. It is just faceted little plastic beads. And it is seven inches. So let's just say a dollar. All right, this one says NR. And um, it's pretty interesting. It's um, just a faux uh, brown marble with some glitter. And these are like a blush color. And it has beaded chain, 16 inches with a two inch extension. So just a dollar. And this one, no name either. It's a satellite necklace with a black. All right, let's see. How did that happen? It gets tangled also in itself. <laughs> okay, so it's a black, it's metallic, faux pearl. It is super long. It is 56 inches. So I'm just going to say $4. This one's just a blue um, plastic pebbles, I'm going to say. It is 16 inches with a 2 inch extension. Um, and it just needs to be cleaned up. So I'm just going to say $3. This one's cool. It's just wood beads that have been painted um, with two beads. It is 22 inches or, yeah, 22 inches. And it's got an old roller clasp on it. So I'm going to say it's from the 60s. That is a cute piece. So let's just say $4. Here is a religious um Virgin Mary, very pretty, gold tone. So I'm gonna say $4 for the Virgin Mary. This is cool. It has some tone loss and the um, lobster clasp is broke, but that is really cool. It is on rubber. Um, I don't see a name, but I'm just gonna say a dollar because it is broke. Easy fix though. Here's a little angel for a dollar. These are very pretty. They are silver forest handcrafted in USA. They're agate with surgical steel air wires. Those are really pretty blue. And they were made in Vermont, made in the United States. So those are really cute. I'm gonna say let's do $5 for those. Those are very nice. Okay, this is really cool. On the inside, there's like a little face outline. It needs to be cleaned up, but I bet it could clean up really nice. I'm afraid to put it on. That is gorgeous. It does have a slice right here but this could clean up really beautiful. It's like a apple red. It is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. 
Um, I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna say let's do $5 on this piece. It is beautiful. I love the color. Okay, here we have just a swirl gold tone brooch. It is one and three fourths by two and a quarter, so two dollars. Um, this is just seed beads. Magnetic. So I'm going to say just a dollar. This is one of those um, seed bead bracelets, a dollar. Um, this is a bangle with the silver tone and the gold tone. It is not magnetic. It is in that David Yurman style, but I do not see any signature and it's not sterling. So it is movable. So that's what it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Nicely weighted, so let's do $9. Here is a really pretty heart brooch. It says AS on the back, and it's Aurora Borealis little rhinestones with little hearts on the inside. So I'm gonna say let's do $3 on the heart. This chain says Napier. It has a patent number, so it's an older one, probably from the 60s. Uh, very nice. It is 15 inches. So I'm gonna say let's, and it needs to be wiped down. So I'm just gonna say let's do $5 on the Napier. Um, this is cool. It is Avon, and it looks like a buckle but it actually just fits right in. It's a clamper. And that's what it looks like on me, seven and a half. So let's just do $2 on the Avon. Here's just a little faux locket. It does snap to and it has a faux pearl. So $2. Here is a tie clip done in a gunmetal very nice condition so I'm going to say four dollars here is a little ID bracelet with a sister clasp it says Spiegel USA so probably from the 60s seven inches so I'm going to say six dollars here is a box cl hidden clasp. No missing rhinestones. These are glass with little metal pieces in between. They're Roy Borealis, so I'm gonna say $3. Very pretty blue. Here's one of those um, seed bracelets. It's stretch, so a dollar. This is glass. Very pretty yellow. It is two and a half. That is just pretty. That is a nice little mellow yellow color. It's a quarter of an inch. So let's say $5 for that one. And it is glass. This piece is very pretty. It is, I believe it, I'm not sure if it's real or not. It is leather faux leather, I can't tell. And it is super soft and if you, no name, and if you turn this little piece over right here, it has a little symbol, like two lines, and then H-13520. I am not sure, but the brand that has the horseshoes um, does come up when you tag that in, but I can't remember how to say the name.
the Etnan Aner, something like that. Etnan, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm not even sure if that would, it's faux. Looks like, looks like it's split right here anyway. So I'm just going to say, um, and it's um, got some scratches right here. Um, it's pretty. It definitely is pretty. It is adjustable. Very nice. So I'm going to say, just in case, I'm going to say, let's say 15. It's kind of cool. Even if it is faux, it looks cool. And this one, and I think this is a uh, faux also, because it's signed Oscar. Um, so Oscar de la Rente does have a, um, a feather brooch. However, it is rhinestones right here. Um, and that's like a $99 brooch and this one has a little bit of tone loss right here. So I'm thinking that it could be faux. So I'm not saying it is or isn't, so I don't know. And there's a little bit of tone loss right here too. So I'm going to say, let's just do, um, cause it is a cool brooch no matter what. So I'm going to say, let's do $10. Very nice. Cindy, once again, thank you so much. We appreciate you for sending us this. We're enjoying it. We have one more bag to go through. Definitely, we appreciate everybody who has left in the comments how thankful we are. If you see anything you like, definitely send us an email at mhl22 at ymail.com. We'll send you a PayPal invoice. Be sure to send us a screenshot or timestamp, and we will send that right over to you. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already. If you have, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. My hands are dirty. And thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.